I'm sure there's a lot of people out there right now that are freaking out about their living expenses. So in today's video, we're gonna walk through how to reduce your living expenses right now and share a bit of light on what we've actually implemented recently so that we can reduce our living expenses as well. About two years ago, I had a bit of a freak out and cut my living expenses to the bone. Then over the last two years in the good times, they've crept up a bit. And then in the last week, I've gone through a big cleanse. So we're gonna talk about things that are working for us right now that you can immediately implement to start saving yourself and your family a fortune and get your head back above water if you're sinking or if you're thriving, create extra cash flow that you can invest in this incredible market right now. So kicking things off uh, with probably the biggest rock out there is refinancing your home loans. Now for yourself, you've got uh, four properties at the moment. Um, how do you go about that and how much money are you saving? I know with my couple of properties, I can't do much with the way that they're set up, but you continuously seem to be changing it. <laughs> There's two big things that I'm doing at the moment that you guys can do as well, whether it's your home loan or investment property loans. One, interest rates have dropped dramatically recently and I can guarantee you're not getting the best rates. So talk to your broker, talk to your bank immediately about reducing your rate. Um, the second thing that you can do that can really help you if you're in a bit of a financial pickle is going interest only. And if you're in a really, really bad position, you can actually freeze your loan um, there's a big $100 million bailout package coming for the banks at the moment. $100 billion. Sorry, $100 billion. <laughs> that was a, um, a Dr. Evil <laughs> moment. $100 million. <laughs> $100 billion. We're in 2020 now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a big bailout coming there. If you're in real financial hardship, let your bank know earlier so that you can freeze the loans. Now, by doing this a couple of years ago, I saved myself about $12,000 a year in interest. A 1% rate reduction is gonna save me about uh, another $10,000 this year in interest. And by going from principal and interest repayments to interest only repayments on my properties, I've worked out I'm gonna save myself about another six to eight grand. So massive. massive amounts of money, huge opportunity. Pick up the phone, talk to your broker, talk to your bank manager and get it sorted. Now, the next thing is insurances. Um, this is something that I've recently gone through. Um, luckily, we've got a great insurance broker that we work with that we can just absolutely outsource everything. But for you, there's compare the market or you can reach out to an insurance broker to get, up, get your insurances under control because there's so many different ways to save a little bit of money there. Between car loan, uh, car insurance, house insurance, investment property insurance or landlord's insurance, health cover plus whatever else you have in place. I have a caravan as well. Um, you know, I am. I went through this process last year. Um, now, I actually beat the rates that my insurance broker was able to get for myself. Um, the way that I did this was I went to um, Allianz, um, they're one of the biggest companies in the world and because of that, they've got a little bit more flexibility. Um, the way that I did it is I went and got the online quote, then I called them up. By just having that online quote number, I saved myself 10% straight away. I then increased my excess to the absolute maximum. Now, for some people that is not viable, especially people that have regular claims, but I worked out that if I increase my excess to the maximum amount and I don't have a claim less than every three years, I'll be significantly better off. In 10 years across 12 properties, I've had one claim. Mm. Um, so I've worked out that that's gonna work. By putting it the highest excess, it reduced my rate by about another 30%. Wow. And then by again, paying up front annually rather than month to month, it saved me another 15% with those guys. So absolutely shop around, whether it's with a broker or whether you do it yourself on Compare the Market. Um, I've found Allianz, um, to be very, very competitive on pricing at the moment with good quality coverage, but make sure it's covering everything you need. Maybe you need a more comprehensive package. When it comes to these two as well, refinancing and insurances, they're in massive competition, the insurance broker, uh, the insurance companies, plus the, the banking institutions as well. So they want your business. Um, so you can use that as a negotiation tactic to try and get them just that little bit lower as well. Um, now, a lot of people look at the two different sides of their life. One is the fixed costs, the things you can't control, and one is the variable costs. Um, a lot of people say, well, my fixed costs are my fixed costs, and that's not true. 
Now, but on my electricity bill, I put solar on the roof. Now I get $150 credit every quarter. So I'm making money from it. If you're not in a position to do something like that, which I understand, then shop around electricity providers before I put the solar on the roof. I save myself 40% by shopping the market. In terms of phones, I went from Vodafone, which I was $100 a month for the phone and the plan, to Audi Mobile now, which is Telstra, at $15 to $25 a month, depending on my requirement for data. Um, internet as well, went from the bigger provider to a smaller one, saved myself 40% that way. I didn't need a Disney Plus, a Stan, and a Netflix account. So I've just gone to Netflix at the moment. I'm sure your kids think otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife, man. No, it's me as well. It's my secret shame. No, we, um, I, I went through all of these costs recently and, and massively reduced the amount that I pay for my phone and, and internet. Once again, there's so much competition out there nowadays and all of these people want your business. So uh, there's so, so many ways to reduce it. I was having the conversation with my partner, Taylor, this morning actually about our phone bills because she's paying a hundred dollars a month to get Crazy. less than what i get for forty dollars a month so there's just so many different ways like it's not just the big couple of uh phone companies out nowadays there's so many different ones like belong and audi and amazing it's crazy and they're all being backed by the same network which is <laughs> <It's tough. tough. laughs> um, so um if you've got loans at the moment um whether that's car loans credit card loans personal loans um obviously there's options to work with companies who will consolidate them and reduce your interest rates if you've got credit cards maybe you can follow one of the youtubers out there that talks about how to run credit cards on interest-free periods. Maybe you can increase your interest-free period. Um, maybe you can consolidate everything. Maybe you can actually just pay them out and move on from it. So a few years ago, um, I just decided to do that and paid out my cars and stuff like that. In a time like this, those little decisions years ago, although at that time they were really, really difficult to do, um, now give me a lot more financial security. And you know, I personally don't believe in credit. And, you know, most of you guys don't either. You don't want a car loan and a credit card and a personal loan if you don't need one, you know, and if you've got them, I know that you're actively working on reducing them now. But if you're in a financial pickle, consolidate them. There's a lot of, you know, credit cards out there being charged at 20%, a lot of car loans at 7%, a lot of um, personal loans out there at 15%. There's companies out there that will take that debt off you, consolidate it to 3% and give you a lot more breathing space than you currently have right now. A lot of them will even freeze it and you can negotiate slowing the payments or paying them over a longer term period of time if you're really struggling to. Great. Now, variable costs. Um, lots of different variable costs in people's lives. <laughs> I just realized how many I had. Yeah, exactly. You know, holidays, gym, cleaners gardeners shopping what you know eating out yeah. yoga pilates for me um this prac this check practitioner, check practitioner. Being catch, hanging out with there's so many variable costs that we have the My thing bottled about water <laughs> bottled water um you know organic food that i'm eating all of these things we should probably keep that yeah like um i've just personally in the last week gone through a huge yeah. cull like i've reduced it down to my smallest possible rate but i probably like i always do overcorrect it a bit like a lot of those things are really really good but what i'm saying is that you know like the government's gone through stage one stage two and we'll hear about stage three later this week or next week or the week after you have the same options to reduce your fixed costs reduce your variable costs but the big things that are crushing you right now if you have debt are probably your loans so refinance your home loan to a lower rate go interest only if you can, you know, and then remember that there's so many people out there that are crushing it right now that are still mm. earning the same income, that have great job security, that have good equity, that have great cash in the bank. And for those of you, you know, these are some cool ideas. Another great idea might be to book a strategy session in with us. And let's talk about how you can take advantage of these market conditions because, you know, markets like this aren't about being scared for the next two years, doing nothing and saving every penny. They can also, for financially secure people, be an insane opportunity to set yourself up, whether that's with stocks, if that's your thing, or crypto or commodities or buying discounted businesses, or if you're like us and you like positively geared property in great locations at good prices than property investing. But we hope this has helped you. We want you to be safe through this period. If you've got any other tips that you haven't heard below, 
you're one of those people that loves this stuff, you're part of the FIRE community that's always looking to save a buck, put some of the ideas down below and let's help other people in the community get sorted out as well.